Get ready, boys and girls. Gather around. It's time for Bronze League Heroes. All right, Forts fans, welcome back to another episode of Bronze League Heroes here on Synergy Gaming TV. Bunch of newcomers to the channel today. Let's introduce them. On the left-hand side, playing Buster, it's Flying Knight. Like a knight on a horse with a sword. And on the right-hand side, playing Pinch Fist, it's Mert5062, or 5062. Now, stalactites. What is the game plan here? Both players starting off with miniguns, not using them to apply any sort of economic pressure here. Now, it's, it's hard to say. Do you want to fire, waste the metal to fire these to apply damage to the other teammates so he has to repair? Or do you just say, ah, forget it. And actually at this point is when you want to use your minigunner to fire at the turbines. You heard both players push down a turbine. This is where you want to fire your minigun to take out the turbine. That's a 200 metal economic advantage you can gain by simply... Well, I guess it'd be 150 because it's like 40, 30 some metal to fire those. 20 some? I can't remember. Someone correct me in the, in the comments down below how much metal it is to fire a minigun in a single volley. But that's something that he should be doing right now. You can blow those up. And unfortunately, Flying Knight was too slow. To, to realize that and then of course Mert realizing that he should have done that right from the beginning and is only firing back because Flying Knight fired uh, Unfortunately, he wasn't paying attention to, to shoot early enough there to gain the advantage he does manage to get a turbine regardless But shield being placed down here by Flying Knight now We have technology coming from Mert and nothing coming from Flying Knight at the moment He's gonna keep Sim Citying here for the moment and there's the technology armory placed down in behind the core, looking safe. Both players placing their armory down in the same locations. Uh, base design's almost looking the same. Now this is where we're starting to differentiate, where Mert wants to build back here uh, to add additional spaces for turbines. Flying Knight decides to build forward and add a little bit of that early defenses. If we hit the FA key, we're only at the two minute mark and he's adding additional wood to the front of his base rather than saving up the resources to either place down his weapons or move into tier two technology. It's going to be interesting to see what style of play he decides to do here. Merch applying some pressure. Remember, he's spending metal to fire. So if he's not dealing and reciprocating that type of metal destruction on the side of Flying Knight, then he's really not getting an advantage firing that minigun. Flying Knight up to five mines here. Mert just placing down his fifth and the Seymour Sniper has been placed down. So this is that situation where you either want to have your map awareness, should be using his mini gunner to take out that sniper or to place down a sniper of your own. Uh, additional weapon location being placed down here, down below. We've got the munitions plant placed by Mert and by Flying Knight. Flying Knight, uh, quite far behind though. This is going to be a bit of a bit of a situation. Fine, good to see uh, Flying Knight seeing the exposed sniper there. Uh, Mert taking multiple shots to get dialed in here. Um, something you want to try and avoid. We see uh, Flying Knight here building a little bit. Of, oh, going for looks like a shotgun. Uh, should place a sniper up there if you're going to do the little blocks like that and. Both players trying to take advantage of their minigunners and uh, not selling them off. Seeing what we can do here. And there it is. Takes out the takes out the exposed sniper. Seymour has been downed. We do should we do should. We do should now see sniper built here to there. Right? Right. Whatever the heck that means. We should see Flying Knight building a sniper up in this location. He does have that opportunity to gain map control. So uh, this is that opportunity where he wants to try and seize that. We can see here too, not a lot of double bracing. There it is, starting to come in here. A lot of players forget to double brace this upper section. Makes it very easy in the Bronze League Heroes to take out a player using Fire Beam Plasma combination. Super simple if you're not going to double brace. Finally, Mini Gunner Mike takes out Mini Gunner Mario. Mm, that was on the fly. Mm, could have picked a better name. And now what? We wait. We have cannon halfway done already. Cannon just being started here. You can see that this was a full pull down. 54, 55 metal. Uh, it's looking like Ginsama has not seen the materials section of the tutorial playlist where we talk about you only need to drag these down approximately 51 to 52 metal in order to fit a cannon. So we'll be spending additional resources on the doors and the repairs and the everything else. And you can see here though that Mert 
50-62 does know about the proper size boxes for weapons. Uh, I believe we talk about this too in the in the 7 Golden Rules tutorial video as well. So make sure, if you guys are new, check out that tutorial playlist. Link is in the description below. And as well, as always, if you guys are entertained watching this stuff, please hit the like button. I spend hours and hours editing these videos and these commentaries for you guys to get all the graphics and the effects and stuff to make great content. You guys are able to watch free of charge. The only thing I ask you to do is hit that like button and allow the YouTube algorithm to grab these videos and get them out to the people who want to see them. Thank you. And cannon shot here from Mert applying some damage here to uh, Flying Knight. Manages to get a bit of a flip-flop repair there, but it'll work. Again, look at that. No cross bracing here. No back bracing there. No cross bracing up here. A couple mistakes here from Flying Knight. Needs to make sure to get that on, on board. Uh, he does have this flat cannon that he's not using. Could uh, drop an upgrade center and get that into a shotgun. Make it a little more viable. Unless he's planning on just having it there in case of rockets or nukes or swarms. Uh, not looking good here in this situation here right now. Flying Knight is taking a lot of extra damage here. Fires his flat cannon at nothing. Uh, not sure why he would do that. That seemed like a little bit of a waste. Maybe just applying some pressure. Problem is now, he's given away the fact that there is a flat cannon there. And now an AP sniper should be able to take that out. And the Buster active. Taking advantage of that, his cannon is finished. And he applies some damage to Mert's base. Now he realizes he's up against a Buster. He's going to start reinforcing his base and adding some extra defenses in. To help try and stop that depleted uranium shot from doing any additional damage. Mert firing at the doors, realizing that he's got this one in the bag. Cannon's going to be finishing up here, and it's going to look really bad here for Flying Knight. Instead of uh, double dooring or triple dooring, he's going to be okay because Mert can't aim. Lucky, lucky there for Flying Knight. He needs to get down additional doors ASAP here and get something happening. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of use of the economy here from either player right now. They are sitting on five mines, but there's not a whole lot of stuff here. You can you can see that Mert's more more focused on laying down triple doors, which is which is good in this case. There we go. Damage being applied and shot being returned, hitting the doors. Uh, not looking good here for Flying Knight. He does need to start spending his resources a little bit more wiser. Keep in mind, he is Buster, so he doesn't have the ability to sell off his metal for 100% regain. Uh, cannon shot again misses. That's twice now. I'm not sure exactly what Mert is doing here. Uh, but very important that if you miss one shot, you nail it the next time. Uh, not sure that was the right... Ooh. 20 mil finishes up here too. I like to see diversity in the weapons. I like to see players build cannons and 20 mils using them both for different reasons. I think that's a great opportunity here. Uh, if he's not going to double brace this, I'd like to see him at least place a weapon up here. Another cannon or, or 20 mil and turn these into doors. Uh, really, really important. You can see here, Mert has cross braced all of the parts of his base that are important here to make sure that he has the structural rigidity up here. Uh, to maintain that great cannon shot, dealing some damage here. If he gets the next one, if he doesn't whiff it, through the doors, there it goes. That's what we're talking about here. So you can see Flying Knight only placing single doors down, uh, or double doors, sorry, is not enough when your opponent gets up to this stage. You need to triple or quadruple door your weapons uh, in order to keep them surviving. Two doors with, with two cannons is just not enough. So hopefully he does that before placing down an additional weapon. Uh... But it's not looking very good here for Flying Knight at the moment. Chicken in the background. Are we going to see Mert take this one with two cannons? Now you can see here in this situation, uh, I like to see the triple door there. That's really good to see. Uh, spamming the repair key. And another shot takes out the doors and misses the cannon. Okay, great shot there, but unfortunately not doing any damage. This is basically going to be it for Flying Knight. Unless he's able to get a door snipe, which he's not. He still has this opening right here. I mean, one cannon shot, he dies if it hits this spot. No double bracing, no double doors. Uh, you know, he could also shoot up here and break the bracing there and take him out. Um... Mert has an advantage here. He doesn't need to continuously fire for the weapon. He could move on and do other stuff. Great shot there. 
Flying Knight in some serious trouble here now. He has no DPS of his own on the battlefield other than this flat cannon, but as we know, it's not really DPS. It's like a pretend weapon that's there to just bother people. And uh, we're going to start seeing Mert. He's probably going to triple up the doors before adding an additional cannon. And he's just going to start spamming the core now. We're seeing a little bit of extra armor here in the front. He's not repairing or replacing any of his energy production. He's just letting it hang. Uh, still not even, like, like correcting the bracings here. So, lots of base structure issues here coming from, from uh, Flying Knight. Which is, uh, which is which is okay. I mean, we all have to learn. This is why we're in the Bronze Leagues to begin with, right? You gotta figure out all this stuff. Uh, Mert, obviously the, the superior player here. But, if Flying Knight is able to uh, learn from this game and, and has picked up a bunch of stuff, you know, he's well on his way to uh, moving up the ladder for sure. But, most importantly, again, as we've mentioned a few times this replay, double bracing the things that are important. I mean, we talk about it in the Seven Golden Rules. Like, it, it, it needs to be done... Very, very important until you become, you know, like a super pro where you can determine what's important and what's not important. Basically, by the seat of your pants. Double turbines here. It would be beneficial. Another great shot up there. Going for the economy now. Mert is basically just picking apart Flying Knight here. Uh, it would be beneficial for Mert to uh, apply or move this shield from here to here. Uh, take out this silly bracing he's got there and just put a shield in here That'll keep a nice solid rigid wall also give him the opportunity for another uh, Turbine here, but basically moving the shield up closer is gonna make this wall of defense a lot more solid than he currently has right now And can of shots taken out the basically just absolutely destroying flying flying knight here Mert just needs to end this if he just shoots the core. It's GG I'm not sure why he's continuously kind of trying to shoot other stuff here um he just needs to end it. He's got the ability. He's got three cannons. I mean, just shoot the core. And it's over. Spending those resources on adding some armor. I don't know why he's grabbing... Uh, yeah, that's not even needed. He's got three cannons. He should just add more cannons. Add more win, win con and not uh, not waste your time with, with things like that. He's got such a commanding lead right now that there's really no point to take advantage of tier 1 weapons and stuff. He just needs to stop. Okay, stop shooting the economy and just win the game. Again, one of the, one of the bigger one of the bigger problems here with newer players. You can see here Mert has a commanding lead, but his ability to determine whether or not or what the right play is or the correct play, he clearly has map control. He clearly has dominant dominance. He clearly has the economy destroyed. And he's still trying to pick apart weapons and pick apart other things. He just needs to go for the core and end the game. Mert's accuracy here. A little bit to be desired. Having a hard time to make a connection here. Um, definitely needs some more practice with his cannons. For sure. But that should be an easy shot. Should be a no miss. A uh, hundred percent of the time from this distance and Just replacing the energy there rather than moving this shield and, and building the energy back here He decides to replace it just right up front and then adds a shield with it as well um, I guess I'm guessing flying knight here hasn't seen that his economy has been disconnected. I Don't think he he quite understands what's happening here. He replaced the flak that should be sold and then another mine should be placed down here to connect things up uh, This is all wrong here from from Flying Knight, but overall, uh, I mean, he had an opportunity there. Just missed a couple shots. All right, here we go. Mert just going to finish it off now, I would think. He realizes he's got map control now. He just needs to shoot and end the game. There it is. GG, you guys. That was Flying Knight versus Mert 5062. Buster versus Pinchfest.